So in this episode, we took a couple adventures over, I believe it was three days, but we went to Centro, we went to Barrio Antiguo, we went to Macro Plaza, and then also over to a place called Contri Tesoro. In this portion, we're just going to get some basic food and getting snacks and fruits and things like that. There's a lot of these bridges which helps people cross um, the big highways pretty safely, so that's a good thing. And here we were heading towards Barrio Antiguo, and it was just a, a street that we walked through, but there was a lot of good restaurants, a lot of homemade stuff. It, was, it wasn't it was like your, you know, westernized food where it's kind of like not as flavored as strongly. This is some good stuff. And um, there's a place near Barrio Antiguo where you can actually get a nice view of the highway. It's right downtown near the Ambia Social Club. So this is walking up that little bridge. It's not being used at all, so you can get a, a good view. And apparently that day there was a, a protest of sorts, and people were in their car and just protesting against um, like taxes for the, the rich area versus the poor area. I'm not sure the exact story, but if you're Mexican, I'm sure that you would know better. But it was just a long line of cars, basically. And we walked down Barrio Antiguo. Most everything was closed that day. Nothing was open that we could see. And we just walked through, just grabbed some pictures and, and, and videos, just to see what things are like. But there were, well, I take that back. There was probably one or two shops that were open. This little bakery that I used to go to called Boule uh, Panaderia or something like that. But it was only to t for takeout. You couldn't actually walk through the store. So Barrio Antiguo is a place where I used to go, but um, now, as you can see, there's not much opportunity to go anywhere. Mercado is a place where you can get a lot of good food, but uh, it's kind of like a little food court. But as you can see, that's closed as well. So I proceeded on to Macro Plaza a little bit more, and you can see this is the main plaza. There's still people walking around. It's still a pretty grisly day, but uh, that orange tower is where they have the green laser that uh, is well known in Monterrey. And this is a little museum that we stopped by, just looking at the different art and photos that they have outside. Again, we couldn't go in, but it was worth it to see that um, you know things are still are trying to pick up, but it's not actually quite there yet. And so this is really close to the main uh, walk uh, walkway in in Central. So you can see most of the shops are also closed here. A lot of name brands, a lot of small bakeries and things like that. This is one of the side streets off the main walkway. And we actually got some elote here um, at one of these uh, stands, but uh, we got hungry, so we went to go get some tacos, of course. Uh, this is a good place. I would recommend it here. It's Tacos de Trompo. And I think it was like 75 pesos for like five teeny tacos. But it's still pretty decent, considering you get uh, potatoes with it, too. This is a view from my house. You can see that it's a really tranquil neighborhood. And you can see uh, Cerro La Silla in the background. It's pretty wet and, and gray still, so... It started picking up a little bit later. You can see how quickly it's starting to come down. And um, I think that day we actually got caught in the rain coming home as well. But, you know, it's part of the adventure. Um, I think the streets were flooding too, so the Ubers couldn't really get around. So we had to actually walk home. And so that's, I think, day one. Day two, we made our way through Tech. Uh, it's a university here in Monterrey. And it was quite empty. We walked through, um, you know, the sports stadium, all the restaurants, the main strip there at the school. And I think that day everything was closed too, probably because of the storm. Normally I think it would be open, but probably not today. There's one little bridge that we crossed here. As you can see, observe how calm it is right now, right? Relatively calm, how much water is coming through. It didn't smell that quite bad or anything like that, but um, we were on our way to a place called Country Tesoro, 
we were just walking around enjoying the fresh air because you usually get a lot of heat here in Monterrey, but it was fresh, so we decided to walk around. Um, rain came down suddenly, and we tried to make our way through. Uh, we had to, you know, take breaks because we were just soaking wet, basically. I only had one raincoat, so yeah, <laughs> and then made our way to a Chinese restaurant there. A uh, really good place, lots of food for the price. It's called Xinglong, but still you can see it coming down. It's just drenching uh, my clothes. Here's the previous little sewer drainage, and you can see how crazy the volume has gotten. And it's dangerous because if you get caught in that thing over there, you're pretty much done for. <laughs> I would not even kayak through that. <laughs> um, and then this is the third day we made through this bridge called Puente uh, Archangel Miguel, so Arch Archangel Michael, and it leads to Macro Plaza, of course. And, you know, we were just walking around, getting some more elote, getting some more, um, you know, snacks here and there. But that's pretty much uh, the adventures for the past three days that I had. And, yeah, it's pretty cool here, but uh, I'm going to post up more stuff once I get through.